Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Heavenly Parent Holy Community Oceania Hunloke together with Reverend Yataki Yamada. Today is Monday, the 17th of July, 2023, or the 30th of May in the 11th year of Chong Il Guk. So let's begin with a, a bow to our true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. Chanji Champunimge, Kyombe. And uh, let's recite our family pledge, both in Korean and English. Thank you. Kajom men se you. Chon il kuk chuin. Uri kajogun. Cham sarangil chun shimago. Hanil ponim gua. Cham pumonime te sing kajon or so. Chon il jigin in kajon in tail. Hanre chupogil chibane. Young girl skin in kajongil. One so high costly men se hanaida. Family pledge number six. Our family, the owner of Chong Il Guk, pledges to become a family that moves heavenly fortune by embodying the heavenly parent and true parents, and to perfect a family that conveys heaven's blessing to our community by centering on true love. Thank you. I'd like to ask um, Reverend Seti if you could offer the opening prayer, please. So please join in prayer. Our beloved Heavenly Parents, thank you for this morning and a chance to once again meet as a region. Heavenly Parents, uh, uh, this time, Mother calling us to uh, focus on perfecting and uh, clarifying our personal relationships with you, Heavenly Parents, and drawing down your grace, your love, through our focus on Chan Shimon prayer and mobilizing, finding the wisdom to work through all the issues that we face daily. Heavenly Parents, challenging for this time of witnessing. Heavenly Parents, uh, please be with us during this Hundok time and grant us your wisdom. We report to you, offer this time in my name. Mangona Yusra, Wai Siti, Upset, and Josefina, Free as well as Blessed Central Family. Ajun. Thank you. And uh, let's uh, offer a warm welcome to Reverend Yutaka as he shares this morning. Thank you. Good morning, our brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining today's morning from the K. Uh, today is also a beautiful morning. Uh, let's put our chosen and heart and uh, begin the day. So, uh, thank you very much. So, yeah, until yesterday, uh, last week, our second gen or youth side, they had also the semester break. So, there are several workshops, especially in Australia, but also join from Samoa and also the Fiji and organize to several second generation workshop. And really second generation uh, is initiating to organize, even become the lecturer, and also the organizer, staff, captain. So those things, uh, really this was a good experience and good for the second generation culture. So it was really great. So yesterday in the Sydney site, there was also the Sunday school workshop and graduation ceremony. So you could see Mr. Douglas Sang also here, right? Uh, in Sydney, Carlos, and everyone joined together. They become captain and they take care younger second gen from five to 11 years old. So they are cute, but they are so much happy. So this kind of the second gen, third gen youth culture is important. So really we have to continuously love for them. 
And this is a graduation ceremony. So this is the Sydney side. I believe each country uh, will be organizing those second generation workshop. Of course, some nation, uh, because of not many breast families, so some nation is very isolated all the time. So we have to concern and they work together as the community as under the Oceania or even the Asian Pacific through all this creating the community we can support and the protect and the create the culture together. So thank you for all our second gen or third gen to organize and even participate the things. And also yesterday we are now trying to develop about the peace embassy in Oceania Peace Embassy in Sydney. So yesterday also was screening time. So thank you for your support and investment. So we will continuously develop. So this week, uh, there is the Cambodia uh, event in Cambodia. So all Asian Pacific leader uh, who can come to come to Cambodia and we will have a Cambodia IRC, UPF, and even also the Asian Pacific leaders meeting online and offline together. So Tulumada is really emphasizing we have to success the witnessing and also under present Hori, we are doing the action 4040, 40, 40 weeks and 40 days special witnessing chance on condition. Let's put our heart and prayer and really invest to witness new people and uh, also our current brothers and sisters together and let's create the beautiful culture of true love and create the beautiful community together. So this week we will begin the new moment. So let's offer the victory to our heavenly parents and true parents. Okay, so thank you. So let's continue today. The Funoke, the origin of true love from Chan Song Gyun. So Mrs. Barbara, please. True love brings unity. A sense of love is not one-sided. It is all inclusive. Even cells function in that way. We sometimes say that people are intoxicated by love and that everyone should have this experience at least once. If you are intoxicated by love, when you call out to anything in the universe, it will respond without hesitation. You can sing for a thousand years while watching water flow. The whispering sound of the flowing water is infinitely sweet. Think of it. Yes, thank you. So this is the true father's word uh, for the true love. So father's expression is really beautiful and artistic and the poetic, right? And so father said, we sometimes say that people are intoxicated by love and that everyone should have this experience at least once. If you are intoxicated by love, when you call out to anything in the universe, it will respond without hesitation. So love relationship in the nature or universe or even our life. So how many times have you had experience about those kind of the love relationship or intoxicate by love? So please feel or remember those feelings again. Okay, please. Through love, people attain the value of owners who harmonize with the entire universe. You want to go the way of completing this purpose. Once your heart has the capacity to capture God's love, you can sing and dance for thousands of years. At that time, you will have completed everything. You will need nothing more. There is nothing on earth more precious than this. Once you capture God's love, you have no need for gold, silver or treasure. Absolutely no need. Yes, thank you. You want to go the way of completing this purpose. 
once your heart, your heart has the capacity to capture God's love, you can sing and dance for thousands of years. At that time, you will have completed everything. You will need nothing more. Meeting with God's love and those feeling or realization or experience, then you will feel you don't need anything in your life. So this meeting with God's love or God's love itself is most respectful, most beautiful or exciting things in this, on this earth. So how we can experience of God's love? If our target or final destination is clear, surely we can fulfill, we can reach and meet that moment. So how much seriously do we seek the moment to meet God with a true love? So this effort or targeting is important. So when we read about the Father's sharing of message about God's love, how exciting it is and how much do we willing to have or desire to have that moment together. So I really wish to have those kind of God's love and heart and the connection with true love. So this is really exciting. Yeah, please. True love, true love fills everything completely. When God's eye perceives love, he becomes intoxicated. In a family, when the father is intoxicated by love, the mother likes it, the sons and daughters like it, and the whole family likes it. But if the father is frowning, the mother can't help but frown, and the sons and daughters frown too. If the mother is intoxicated by true love, that true love will melt the father. It will melt the sons and daughters too. If the sons and daughters are intoxicated by true love, their mother and father will melt in turn. Yes, true love fills everything completely. When God's eye perceives love, he becomes intoxicated. In a family, when the father is intoxicated by love, the mother likes it, the sons and daughters like, like it, and the whole family likes it. So the true love relationship in the family. So the past previous contents is also same. How we can practice true love in our family and also the experience together. So the love of the nature of true love, meaning of true love. So true love, actually, the, this love for our humanity, the love is for others 100 percent love should not be remaining myself even little just practice and giving everything this is the true love father said if we can practice even in our family of the true love then what's happened everyone will be smile melting and very exciting that's why how we can create those atmosphere relationship inside our family, intoxicated by true love in our family. Do you have this experience with your husband, with your wife, or your parents, or your children? Always just living for the sake of others, practicing true love. So without any expectation to be returned, just 100% believe father, believe mother, Believe son and daughters or live for husband, live for wife without any kind of expectation, just invest 100%. So then we could really feel those great happiness. So already we have a great place to practice from our family. How much great? If we can create those atmosphere in the family, then how possible to practice in our relative, tribe, community, or school, or any place. So through the things we can really remember, uh, we can also reflect ourselves. If inside of family, if we can live, practice the things, everyone will be uh, melt by true love. 
So really beautiful, the things. Okay, next, please. True love is almighty. There is nothing it cannot do. If someone imagines the ideal, the ideal object that they imagine appears. Even if a husband is not handsome, when his wife comes to love him, he appears handsome to her. Love transforms unattractiveness. We don't know our own face as well. Even though we see them in the mirror every day, we don't know them. When we see ourselves in a photo, we say, so I look like this. But when we look in the mirror, we don't see, we don't think that way. Yes. So if there is the true love, even the lacking point will be covered. So even your husband is not handsome, you can see your husband is handsome, right? Even your wife is not beautiful so much, but also you can feel love. So, uh, you can feel some beauty. So how much this love is amazing or uh, really so much special. Love can bring those kind of essence to our relationship. Okay, please. According to our mood, we sometimes look like the most repulsive person, sometimes like the most attractive. Sometimes our faces look round, sometimes long. If we look with the eyes of love, no one is better looking than we are. When your eye is very close to something, can you see it well? You need a certain distance in order to focus. If you are too close, you cannot perceive it. Yes, thank you. Father said, according to our mood, we sometimes look like the most repulsive person, sometimes like the most attractive. So how much people's feeling is uh, kind of a, a, what you call changeable or uh, not perfect or depends on their mood of feeling. There is a feeling or image thinking toward another person will be totally changed. And how about the power of love is strong and they are respectful, uh, respectful. And Father said, if we look with the eyes of love, no one is better looking than we are. So when we see this Father's word, actually problem or situation or those things is not depends on object partner or others, everything, depends on myself what kind of love do we have what kind of feeling do we have what kind of effort are we doing toward others then our feeling relationship will be changed that's why relationship by love this is not only family of course family relationship but also friend or our colleague relationship is also same you can also count or imagine the person who are meeting every day or who are concerned every time in your lifetime or in your place. How many people really do you like or love or how many people you don't want to meet or you don't want to think, but everything because of love. If you have a love relationship with a person, you can cross with them and you can unite together with them. So how we can create a relationship of love. So this is very be beautiful sharing. Okay, please. Love has great power. Even if some, someone is a farmhand working in the fields, when he forms a love relationship with the owner's daughter, the owner has to give him all he has. Love can leap from the lowest place to the highest place. It can break down any barrier, no matter how strong. No matter how confused the world is, once you experience God's love, you can leap beyond it. If the American president falls in love with a country girl who is naive, ignorant, unqualified and lacking in many ways, from that day forward, she is invested with the right to participate with him in his position. Yes, thank you. So True Father is explaining or taking example or those things about the true love. 
So true love relationship even will change that person's position. So father is using example about the farmer or president of America and also the ladies. When they are connected by relationship of love, they could be standing the same position. So this is the relationship of love and the power of love. So they are explaining. And if we think from different point of view, what we can say, Father said, no matter how confused the world is, once you experience God's love, you can live beyond it. So if we can be connected with God by true love, what's happened? Our position is automatically standing the same position with God or even more than that. So this is the relationship of power of love. Okay, please. Likewise, if you have true love, no matter how low you are, you can leap to the highest place in a flash. Today, no matter how miserable our circumstances, once we have a love relationship with God at the center and can say, there is no doubt that you are my father and I am your child, we can freely go in and out of God's master bedroom. We receive that privilege. Only love can make this possible. Yes, thank you. So I will read this part again. Likewise, if you have true love, no matter how low you are, you can live to the highest place in a flesh. Flash. Today, no matter how miserable our circumstances, once we have a love relationship with God at the center and can say, there is no doubt that you are my father and I am your child, we can freely go in and out of God's master bedroom. We receive that privilege. Only love can make this possible even uh, what kind of situation we are in but meeting with god that everything will be changed so that's very great please when you meet your beloved you want your love to be a flower that blooms forever you want to explode when two lovers come together there is such an explosion Love conquers everything with its brilliant power. There is nothing that can suppress that power. Love has that explosive quality. All beings are in awe when thinking of love, and all cells open their gates. Yes, so nature of love. Love has several powers. Explosion. Love conquers everything with its brilliant power. All beings are in awe when thinking of love and all cells open their gates. So uh, true love has really amazing nature and power. Okay, please. Would you prefer to hold on to someone because of love or because the person has earned a doctorate? Why do you prefer true love? No amount of money has the power to make your mind and body one. No amount of knowledge can make your mind and body and five senses focus on one thing. These cannot make your eyes, nose and ears focus on one thing. Power cannot do that either, but love can. That is why love brings the greatest joy. Yes, thank you. So this is also the interesting word of our true parents. True love can gather the focus of five senses to one point. And even true, true love can make mind and body unite. So Father said, that's why love brings the greatest joy. So if you have a experience of true love, if you have a beloved person, or you have a love experience, what's happened? Your eye or ears or all senses, even your thinking itself will be focused that place. If you met God, 
If you met true father and true mother, do you remember at that moment? My all feeling is going that place. If you have uh, love your husband and wife, all sense of focus is going to that place. Not by money, not by position, just only by true love. So really, true parent is explaining from several point of view about love. Okay, please. Sorry. Our five spiritual and five physical senses can unite their focus through love. In love, we enjoy explosive happiness by having the five spiritual and five physical senses unite in one focus. We feel tremendous stimulation in love. We ignore everything else and all our cells unite into one. The power of true love unites the spiritual and physical cells as one. Nothing else can do this. True love is the highest peak. Yes, thank you. This is also the same. The power of true love unites the spiritual and physical cells as one. Nothing else can do this. True love is the highest peak. So this is really true love. Okay, let's continue, please. Love is, oh, one is minus. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Some, something problem. Uh, this one? L love is the power that unites man and woman. When two people love each other completely, they think, I am in you and you are in me. It is like St. Paul when he had his spiritual experience. He could not say whether he had been in his body or out of his body. What binds subject and object partners together? If one man and one woman just casually meet and live together, that is not love. In love, the direction should be right. The physical constituents, no, the physical constituent. Constitution, I can't read that word. Isn't that weird? Constitu constituents should match and there should be a common base. Yes, thank you. Some problem, right? Constitution. Uh... Constitutions, thank you. See, I was totally out of my body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can unite by two up. So anyway... <laughs> We can feel those experience and also we could have feeling. And anyway, let's continue, please read. One is minus and one is plus, which makes for a perfect mutual relationship. Love is when I say I would die without you and you say you would die without me. When two people are bound together completely as one, their two personalities combine and become as one personality and they have greater value than they do as two individuals. They then become owners who can build a world of higher dimension. Yes, thank you. When two people are bound together completely as one, their two personalities combine and become as one personality, and they have greater value than they do as two individuals. They then become owners who can build a world of higher dimension so through the true love two existence of personality can be united as one existence so this is also same in the spiritual world father also mentioned many times if we go to the spiritual world husband and wife's body or existence will be totally united using husband body and wife inside the mind or using the wife's body or husband is inside of her mind, her mind totally united husband and wife so if we go to the spiritual world first we will go to the place of our heavenly parent and greeting and you know what father said how to greet if we go to the in front of heavenly parents we will greet with having the love relationship wow that is really exciting the message so go there, we will uh, have a 
love relationship between husband and wife together with God and greeting. So this is the meeting with God. So totally husband body and wife's body or spiritual body totally united. That's why how much important the preparation between husband and wife on this earth. So through this relationship, creating the unity, then we can go to the kingdom of heaven happily, right? So Father also explaining about the blessing and also the spiritual world. When our blessed family receive the blessing, then if we go to the spiritual world, there is kind of a special uh, spiritual world, kind of a unification spiritual world, or blessed family spiritual world. So if go there, everything will be opened. Before receiving blessing or before meeting all three parents, maybe if bad person is going to kind of the hell or a suffering place or some place where uh, there are similar person gathering. So similar nature, selfishness, or sin. But after I say blessing, if go to king, go to the spiritual world, everyone is going to kind of the kingdom of heaven or kind of the spiritual world. So at that place, everything will be opened. So even we have many mistakes or sin, but we cannot hide. Just go there, everything will be opened. That's why. If we have a already a great kind of a clean up everything before going to the spiritual world, they live for God's providence or totally unite with husband and wife, then those eternal world is so much beautiful, exciting place. But if so much struggling with husband and wife and also many problems were seen and going to the spiritual world, and what's happened? Also, this is a suffering time because everything will be open for eternity. So anyway, talking about the true love, uh, but really on this earth, physical life is really important. So every moment, how we can become more better person, how we can become the children of God, and how we can really unite husband and wife, parents and child, a three generation, the tribe, nation, and world. So oh, this physical world and spiritual world will be connected. So all the time, not only just knowing the true parents' word as a knowledge, we have to really reflect and connect to our daily life. So this is the last page, please. Neither money nor knowledge can give rise to unity between mind and body. A Korean maxim says that a habit you adopt when you are three years old will last until you are 80. It is very hard to change your habits and your deep-rooted fallen nature. These have a historical and global character. Only enlightened people who can crush such things underfoot, clear them away and transcend the world are able to overcome this problem. Man and woman are physiologically different and the components of their original natures are different, but they can unite in love. Yes, thank you. Father said, it is very hard to change your habits and your deep-rooted foreign nature. They have a historical and global character. Only enlightened people who can crush such things underfoot, clear them away, and transcend the world are able to overcome this problem. So money or knowledge cannot make mind and body unity. And our longer habit also same. Or differences between men and women also same. Then what kind of things make it possible this is only true love. That's why true parents mentioned clearly, we should understand God well. We should understand the spiritual world well. We should understand about the true love well. Then we can solve those issues and problems. So now our contents of Chon Sung Gyun and the contents of our true mother's anthology uh, is really connected. 
talking about the true love, talking about the eternal life, talking about the heavenly parent. So through these things, we should find what kind of message really true parents or heavenly parents let us understand and let us realize. Then we will become the substantial uh, substance of true love and the practice true love and we will become the filial son and daughters or the person to the love to deliver this message to our brothers and sisters. So mother is emphasizing about witnessing, but the point of witnessing is actually to love people, to change our character and change our capacity of love and grow up to become filial son and daughters. This is really precious guidance. This is really individually and the world level, really God, heavenly parents and three parents try to embrace and ask them to come back to heavenly parents during the time period. So let's totally unite together with three mother and offer the victory to our heavenly parents and three parents. So today is a beautiful day. Let's have a great time. Thank you very much once again. Have a great day. Kamsamida. Kamsamida. Thank you very much, Reverend Yutaka, for sharing with us and uh, yeah, really uh, helping us to you know, connect as a community and to really uh, experience that love together. Uh, 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 Reverend Yutaka mentioned how we were uh, cleaning uh, the Peace Embassy uh, yesterday, and uh, really that was an expression of our love. Uh, he, uh, he didn't mention that it, it rained, and uh, it, uh, it actually, the, the drain uh, in the, the back of the, uh, uh, in the car park area, it, it blocked, and so it flooded, so it became like uh, uh, up to your, you know, halfway up your, your calf, uh, so uh, 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 but it 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 didn't uh, it initially sort of slowed us, but in the end we still filled the skip. Uh, and uh, today the uh, the uh, removalists are coming uh, to uh, you know to take the wall down and and uh, yeah it was yeah you know, like that that uh, whole expression together yeah you know, working together you know, that everyone yeah. You know, uh, uh, it was really good to see. Uh, uh, we were freshening up the, the the peace embassy at the same time as you know, uh, all working together and, and really feeling it as a community. And uh, it was very nice expression of of uh, loving uh, together as we uh, focused on cleaning the peace embassy. And and that that. that uh, uh, also, uh, you know, that statement where two combine as one personality. Uh, also, you know, when the family combines, then we find a, a tradition and a culture emerges. And yeah, that, that's what Chong Hill Gook is, isn't it? You know, two are one. And it's, you know, it's when we actually do things physically and spiritually together uh, that we you know, really feel uh, the strength of the the love in the community and and uh, so you know, when we uh, pray together in the Chongshin one in the vigil prayer yeah you know, really uh, I, I sense a global uh, you know, unity of of faith that we you know really are one family and then you're know, working hard together to clean up the peace embassy it was uh, great to see everyone of all ages, from very young to very old, you know, and and even though uh, physically struggling, but everyone very happy. And then, uh, you know, what, you know, once it's over, all sort of sit together and and share a sort of a, like a snack together and and uh, you know, reflect on all the little things that happen. So it's really, yeah, you know, uh, uh, that too becoming one personality in in many ways. So yeah, it was a very great experience, and thank you everyone. And open it up to anyone who'd like to make a comment. Thank you.
Right. Uh, yes, Susie, go ahead. Oh, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes, sorry, a little bit of internet back and forth. Uh, firstly, I'd like to say how wonderful it was to watch Sunday service and the graduation yesterday of our younger people gives us a lot of hope. And to see the older ones now who are just uh, coming, you know, into their 15, 16 years old, taking care of of the younger ones. And uh, it's so beautiful to see how they care for them and love them. And uh, I, I look at Carlos, bright, shining smile and, and all of these kids that are uh, coming forth like this, they're being obviously loved and cared for by their families and given this kind of uh, uh, attribute. And just as a reminder of uh, the, what we can learn from children, uh, how special in, in Jesus really spoke so highly of what we can learn from the children, become like little children, is um, in fact, uh, I've been listening over the last uh, few days to some wonderful speeches. And Tim Ballard, um, I'm, I'm, I guess some of you may have heard, may not have heard, it's a movie that's been released in America and it's called uh, Voice of Freedom. And the reason I bring that up is because Tim Ballard was actually speaking about a year ago to the Air Force because they were graduating and he wanted them to learn lessons of good leadership. And if those of you who don't know about what Voices of Freedom about is about, it's how, oh, sorry, Sound of Freedom. Uh, you're right, Jeffrey, thank you. Um, it is, it, this, fellow Tim Ballard back in 2014, he was working with Homeland Security to rescue uh, children and women being sex trafficked from all the darkest places, uh, from the third world countries after um, tsunamis or earthquakes, the, the children were very vulnerable. And so he commissioned himself, he, 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 he created his own business uh, Underground Railroad. And so this particular section where he shared brought a lot of tears to my eyes. A lot of it does, in fact. But this area where he came into Haiti, I think it was back in 2014, and these false orphanages were set up uh, that were actually places where children were sold. And so um, he approached this one little boy and he, of course, pretending to be somebody who wanted to buy a child to do an undercover sting operation. And this little boy uh, came to him. And then the little, another little girl came very shortly after. And uh, Tim basically gave the little uh, girl a candy bar because he knew that that was a way to sort of win their hearts. But immediately that little girl took the candy bar and broke it in half and gave it to this little boy. And then he realized, oh, that's her brother. And he thought, oh, I've got to rescue both of them. I'm not going to go into that part of it, but what I'm going to go into is when he finally did rescue the 26 children through that sting operation, they went to a proper orphanage. What happened was that he uh, brought with him lots of Christmas toys and uh, this little girl, she was very bold and courageous. Just at that time, I think she was only five or six years old. And she took all those toys. But usually, you know, I know when you come home from, a, from some kind of a place and your kids open the bag and they just grab all the stuff for themselves. What she did was she took all those toys and he went in there and he saw she was distributing them to all the children. She didn't keep one at all. She didn't want anything for herself. She saw that one little person in the background was missing one. She said, could I have another one? And she took that one and gave it to that one, but she didn't want it for herself. And it was, and this happened time and time again. And it was so amazing to see how at that age, she had the heart of serving people. And as we've been talking about lately, serving is one of the ways of actually giving true love and receiving true love. So if you, don't, if you ever get a chance, the film's not available here yet, but there are some beautiful 
testimonies and that particular one that he gave in front of the Air Force said was based telling them that you are in a position to serve your countrymen. And this is an example of what true service and self-sacrifice means. So thank you for listening. Yeah, thank you, Susie. Thank you. Uh, yes, Doug, go ahead. Oh, uh, tragic when a little child has to become a parent. Um, and that's the beauty of it. Even a little child, you know, she assumed parental responsibility. And I was thinking this morning, uh, our hope is... Uh, you know, when we meet extraordinary people, it's not because of the money or the material things that they have, but sometimes you can sense inside of a person that they've really been loved by their mother or father. And it's a beautiful thing um, to see because it makes a person different. And our hope in this movement is that in each generation, um, they become more loved by their parents. That's our hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven generations in a row, we will establish such stability and such love between parents and children, you know? And um, we're so lucky to live with that understanding and, and watch it and be part of it, making it happen, you know? Uh, you can imagine the explosion of the spiritual world upon the earth by seven generations, you know, where, where you can see the love inside of a person so clearly you'll, you almost know by meeting them, their spouse or their parent, you know, um, will become truly integrated and conscious. So it's not going to be too long. <laughs> Too long from now before we can solve every problem on earth through the family. You know, yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Doug. Thank you. Uh, go ahead, Chris. Put your hand up. Yeah, morning, everyone. Um, yeah, there's a really good clip on YouTube about uh, the making of that movie. It's got the person who was the homeland security guy and the primary actor i don't know if people know is the guy who played jesus in the passion of christ that's the guy who produced and plays the main character and it's all god-centered and, and they talk about how god worked and how they had to have faith and the funding was cut and it's incredible incredible video so i'll try to get that clip and post it around it's really very, very as moving as as moving as the movie is anyway thank you yeah. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We'll have a couple of minutes for someone who'd like to make a comment. Yes, Jeff, go ahead. <clears throat> anyway, it's another one of those movies like Star Wars, Good Against Evil, and... Um, Lord of the Rings and all these things. So it sort of impacts, I guess, some deep sort of inner consciousness we have. The fact is we've all been trafficked and abused sexually. Um, <clears throat> so we all need to realize the bigger pictures. We, we're all slaves to sin and to sex, and so we need to be liberated. And, um, yeah, it's all part of how God, I guess, works through media and movies, all kinds of ways to educate us and help us to understand where we are and, where, I guess, where we need to go to be liberated. Um, yeah, anyway, just some just some thoughts about that movie. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Could I just add something a little more to that? Yeah, sure. Um, uh, you're going to Cambodia, and uh, it's a it's a wonderful thing that you're going to, but um, be mindful too to look out because Cambodia is actually one of the worst places for child sex trafficking. I mean, I know that's not your mission there. And I know you're going to watch, uh, you know, a special eye over the elections, et cetera. But I think um, also it's a good thing maybe to, um, I, I don't know how, share with some of the brothers and sisters there, find out uh, because it's important that we protect those families that we've blessed there. Uh, that nothing like that happens to their children to be on the watch out for that kind of thing. This is another way of serving that community is to alert them to the fact that these things are happening and they probably already know. So, and that we're praying for them and that their families will be protected from these kinds of things. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Susie. Yeah, that's true. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, time now for us to offer our unison prayer and we can you know, pray for you know, the freedom of everyone, especially our children. So just share the screen. Uh, let's pray together. Thank you.
Aju, Aju, Aju. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day and see you all again tomorrow. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.